Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, y'all, we're starting a new game today. We are starting a new game. Okay, it's gonna be um, Final Fantasy VII OG. Yes, okay. It's not remake or rebirth. Okay, we're doing the OG. Okay. I want to answer why is seven so popular okay with showing the original seven has been milked to death as we talked about before <clears throat> so we're gonna play the og all right so just to kind of get us started i want to say a little bit about seven um i've got some notes here so if i'm staring at my screen yes i am reading but i wrote it so it's okay to do that all right um, seven was released in 1997 for the PlayStation. Prior to seven, um, Final Fantasy had been a Nintendo thing. It was a mainstay on Nintendo consoles, but PlayStation went in a different direction than Nintendo 64. Uh, they had discs and memory cards instead of cartridges, and this allowed developers to make larger games that didn't have to account for where the save file went on the cartridge. And it also allowed them to do like disc swaps, right? So there was huge benefits to developers in this technology. And that kind of sealed the deal for Square to move Final Fantasy over to the PlayStation, uh, where it came on three separate discs. This was a three disc game. Okay, something totally unheard of for a console game, having multiple discs. What the heck? Um, you know, PlayStation started that. That was a thing that was only on PCs, okay, before. So this is new for PlayStation. Oh my gosh, cat hair on my lip gloss. Lady was was up here before stream. I petted her a bit, but she jumped down before I started. So now there's hair, whatever. Cat, you guys know. There's always cat hair. Anyway, this was also the first 3D Final Fantasy, all right? Which came with some really interesting quirks. You know, there are some... Um, Growing pains in gaming when they moved largely from 2D to 3D. Parts of 7, OG, as you'll see, have aged very well, and parts haven't. Uh, you're going to see that as we, as we play. But this shit, like, okay. Back then, this shit blew our minds. We were like, what? We could not believe a console could do graphics like this, okay? Um, 7 especially was considered a particularly gorgeous 3D game. And Final Fantasy VII won Game of the Year at the time in both the Japan Game Awards as well as Game Informer. And it kind of solidified in the minds of the Western audience what a JRPG was. And essentially what JRPG meant to the West is turn-based combat with a focus on a story of a cast of named characters. So even though like in modern times, Japanese RPGs have moved in kind of a different direction, there's lots of differences um, and there's lots of other styles of, of RPGs, RPGs that come out of Japan now. When a Westerner says JRPG, this is often what they mean, especially if they're, you know, around my age. If you're talking to a millennial, that's what they mean. I'm telling you that's what they mean, okay? Um, now, I personally played this game back when PlayStation 2 came out, probably around the year, like, 2000 or so, something like that. We didn't have a regular PlayStation at my house, but we did buy a PlayStation 2, which was backwards compatible. And I'd heard so much about this amazing game. So when we got the PS2, I finally got to play it for myself as opposed to just seeing or playing segments at like a friend's house, right? Um, and this was my favorite Final Fantasy up until a year or two later when I got my hands on Final Fantasy X and played that, all right? So that's my little preamble of what Final Fantasy X is. So you guys know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to get it going. While I do that, I also want to share with you that this is not like my 10 playthrough, okay? 10 being my favorite Final Fantasy means that I, oh my gosh, just cat here in my lip gloss. Like I played it and played it and played it, okay? I played 10 like so many times, so many times. I just, I just know things about that game, okay? That is not how seven is, okay? I played it as a kid and I really have not gone back to it so much, okay? So this is a replay through as an adult, uh, you know, that, uh, and I've not played it in a very long time, very, very long time, okay? So you're gonna see 
I'm going to pull it up. I just clicked the wrong thing. You're going to see. There we go. I want to edit my tags. I want to edit my tags a little bit. Okay. So we're going to say no spoilers. I do want to have no story spoilers, even though like it's seven and you know, the remake and stuff. And anyway, everybody knows everything about seven, but whatever. We're just going to assume not everybody knows everything. So no spoilers and back seating. Okay. You guys can backseat me. Okay. This is, um, and I don't, and there's things I legitimately don't know. It's not going to be like 10 where when y'all backseat and I'm like, y'all don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. Okay. Because I don't know. So, um, so yeah, there will be a little bit less of that. Okay. Show you guys this beautiful setup. Here we go. Um, this game is older. So this setup probably reminds you a little bit of how we played Majora's Mask. Okay. Come on. Show it. There it goes. Okay. So you can see like the aspect ratio and everything. Old school. Old school aspect ratio. Here we go. This is the PC version. Um, we're going to do a new game. Okay. I did do some testing uh, in save file one. So we're going to do a new game and we're going to use save file two. Oh my God. My eyeball is itchy. I'm going to do save file two. So here we go. Let's watch the opening of Final Fantasy VII. Got a little sea of stars here. Very pretty. Right, who's that? So the stars are green now, and uh, she was really looking into a pipe. All right, not really a sea of stars that we were looking at. Very interesting. So we got this pretty flower girl who's walking out into this uh, kind of like desolate back alley city looking place. We've got a goblin's bar, we've got an advertising for a movie called Loveless. Okay. Set. I want you to imagine this is the 90s for you. What the heck? Minds were blown. Who are those guys? They're beating up everyone. They're so cool. All right. We're going to do voices. Okay, hang on. I think this is a little loud. I'm going to make some volume adjustments. Give me just a moment, you guys. Okay. All right. I think that's better. Here we go. Come on, newcomer. Follow me. We're the newcomer. This is us. The spiky-haired... Okay. The spiky-haired angry boy. All right. So we're going to... We're going to take this guy's potion. That's our potion now. Um. Oh, shit. They're running at us. And our posse has just left. Uh, okay. We are X soldier in all caps. We can attack with our giant sword that is stronger than their guns. Holy crap, we are badass. Okay, we can do magic. Uh, oh, we can lightning his ass. Let's zap him. Shit, I'm strong. Okoing. Okoing both of those dudes. Because I'm an ex-soldier, and they're just pops, I guess. All right. 
Let's steal this train dice potion too. Fantastic. All right, so we're a thief. We kick ass with a sword. Very fun. Here's our posse. We found them. Hey guys, I'm here. What's up? Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Oh, that was Jesse again. What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit and is with us now. I didn't catch your name. Okay, our name is Cloud. We are not going to change the names, you guys. We'll talk about that later when it becomes relevant. I feel like this is still very freaking loud. Okay, I'm going to turn it down a little more. Um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it. We're, we're Cloud. Cloud. Cloud, eh? Um... I don't care what your names are. Once this job is over, I'm out of here. The hell are you doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's North Mako Reactor. We'll need meet, uh, we'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Okay, we can name him. This man is Barrett. Watch this space, okay? He is angry. He is annoyed. What is he annoyed about? We're gonna find out. Press the directional buttons while pressing cancel to run. Okay, so that's, that's, you can walk or run. Oh, what is this? Nuclear power craziness. All right, so this is just walking. You press the thing to run. All right, let's follow, let's follow our friend. Hey dude. Oh, there goes Jesse. Oh shit, they ran away and now I have to fight. Oh no, a cat! Okay, well, we know we can Oko this guy. I'm gonna show y'all Cloud's other spell. All right, we got the electricity, we got the coldness, cause we're cool, okay? What if we spin that sword? Badass. Okay, let's go. In here. Can I go ahead and turn on? Hang on. Can I? Or do I have to learn about it? I guess I have to learn about it. Okay. It's not letting... Oh, wait. Is it this? Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. We need this. <laughs> You'll see why. I've secured our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, we're really gonna blow up this huge furnace? That'll be something to see. You just wait, Wedge. You just wait. We're gonna blow this shit to kingdom come. Okay, now we have to fight some soldiers and um, a funny little plant bird. Oh my god. I just got cat hairs everywhere. I tried today. Okay, I... I keep seeing TikToks about thermoplaning, and I try to do that. I think it just like, I don't know, I don't think it worked for me. I did it this morning thinking like, oh, it's gonna make my makeup apply smoother. It's gonna look so pretty. And I just feel like it gave me red spots and irritation everywhere. I don't know. I don't know about this dermaplaning, you guys. I'm not sure it's for me, but I tried it. Okay, here we go. Let's go this way. Into the Mako reactor. What's up, friends? Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of the planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. All right, you come with me from now on. Okay, so Barrett joins our party. Fantastic. What's up, dude? Code deciphered. Biggs is so cool. Code deciphered. Thanks, Jesse. You're a pal. Okay, down here, we have another treasure. I'm gonna try to show you guys everything, okay? I'm gonna try to get all the treasures. We'll see how this goes. So we got a phoenix down from there. 
Okay, let's go this way. Oh, we have to talk to her. Open this door for us too, Jesse. Thank you. Push that button over there. Okay. Got it. Switch on. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life. And that will be that. Blue, hello! It's seven, yeah, OG. Oh, That's not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. He's so angry. Yeah, it has some really ridiculous dialogue. And this is just the PC version. Like, I didn't mod anything to make, like, the translation more accurate or any of that. This is just a straight-up OG for PC, okay? All right. We're following Jessie. She, she knows where to go. Okay, so we got Barrett in our party. Um, more weird birds and, uh, and, and uh, autonomous guns. Uh, we love that. Okay, Barrett doesn't know any magic. That's fine. Yeah, I was debating, but I didn't do any of that. This is just vanilla OG, okay? Nothing fancy, nothing special. I'm gonna do all my own voices. We're gonna we're gonna deal with some of the weird models. It's just, it's gonna be a time. It's gonna be a, a, a we're gonna have a time. This downloaded from Steam, that's what this is. Okay, she went in here. Let's follow her. Yeah, we jump. Okay, push OK in front of a ladder to grab onto it. Then use the directional button to climb up and down. All right, Jesse, I got it. Okay, there's here's another thing. Potion. Push OK. Okay, she's just telling me again about the ladder. This game's got something new ones are kind of missing, a bit of cheeky role-playing. Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay, we can just walk. So you can already see some of the growing pains that I'm talking about with the move to 3D. Navigating these maps is sometimes not easy. Um, that's why I went ahead and turned on these little arrow things, even though the game has not told you how to yet, because they are in freaking valuable, so that you can know where the next screen is and all of those sorts of things. Okay, here's our save points in the game. So you walk up to it until it says that, and then you just do this. And we're gonna we're gonna use save two for our stream. Um, yes. Yeah, for on this controller, it was like pushing down one of the um, the buttons in the one of the joysticks. So yeah, okay. Oh, the other thing we need to do is put Barrett in the back where he belongs. Sorry, Barrett, but you're you're a ranged boy. You belong in the back. Um, if you put your characters in, the game hasn't told you this yet, but if you put your characters in the back that are ranged, um, it's fine because they'll get, they'll get a, like a, a bonus to their defense, but since they're ranged, it's not going to hurt their offense. If you put your melee characters in the back, um, they get the boost to the defense, but it hurts their offense. So, um, you want to put like ranged characters, magic users, stuff like that in the back. quality feature they bought back for Rebirth. Oh, you can put your characters in the back in Rebirth? That's cool. Didn't have a row system in Remake. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, there's a row system in this game. So you can see we're beating up more autonomous weaponry. Um, you know, so, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just got so much cat hair all over my face today. All right, so we had to head this way. The row system can be abused pretty heavily later on, true. Okay, we're gonna, oh, we got a back attack. Here's how you cheat a back attack. You run, and then when you, when you let it go, you turn back around. I'll show it again next time I have a back attack. When you snag yourself the guard material, you mean the cover material, right? I think you mean the cover materia. Also, Blue, by the way, backseating okay. This is not like 10. Or I don't, because I haven't really played this game since I was like a kid, really heavily. So I don't know everything about it, like 10. So, um, yeah, 
if you know things, when they pop up, share them, so long as it's not story spoilers. Just because I want everyone to enjoy this, you know? Okay, here we go. Here's our first little materia, Restore. We'll, uh, we'll play with that later. Not time to play with our balls yet. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Oh shit. Watch out! This isn't just a reactor. Okay. We're gonna remember that. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up! Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Oh shit. Heads up, here it comes. Here what comes? Oh, it's a boss battle. This is our first boss battle. We're gonna attack and we're gonna use Bolt. Don't worry, the first boss battle is pretty easy. That is one kind of criticism of this game. Um, is it's it's very easy uh you know it's not it's not super challenging but you know 10 was not super challenging either except for a few bosses so um i don't necessarily think this is a negative but you will see this in uh in criticisms of this game Confession, I haven't finished seven. Blue! Blue, why? Well, maybe you can play along with me. Maybe you can play along with me. Oh my god, it's Dragon! Hello! Hello, hello! Pinned dad jokes. Pinned dad jokes, oh my gosh. Okay, it's limit break time. It's limit break time. Braver. Let's go. I paid a bit to Invasion, but it's ages ago. I source my dad jokes and copy and paste broke. Oh, see, attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. That's such a confusing direction. He's trying to tell you don't attack when the tail's up. Too late, we're going to. And it's gonna use its stupid laser. Um. Which hurts. Ouch. Um, we might actually have a problem here because we just attacked twice and Cloud's very low. Yeah. Okay, well, now we have to revive Cloud. Come on, Barret, help me. Uh, let's do a Phoenix down on Cloud. And then we need some potions. But yeah, we're just not going to attack while the tail's up, and he's not going to do anything. I have been shamed eternally. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, Barret needs a potion too. Oh, Cloud needs more. Okay. Steampunker, hello! How's the Karen Terry gang this morning? Hopefully everybody's awesome. That part killed so many people back in the day because about poorly translated. Well, the grammar... Yeah, because the first direction makes you think you're supposed to attack. And then he's like, oh, don't attack. And it's like, excuse me? Excuse me? What? He's trying to tell you don't attack when the tail's up. But it literally goes like, attack when the tail's up. And this terrible thing will happen on two separate lines. Dumb. Okay, I think our health is okay. Our health is okay now. Let's go back to attacking. There we go. He's dead. Yay. The exclamation made it look like it was a complete sentence and you're supposed to attack exactly. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. But yeah, this is just the, the OG on Steam. So we're going to see all the bad translation. We're going to see all that. We're going to see all that. So this is like this is like the closest easy way for you guys to see what that 90s experience was like with this game. Okay, so we get an assault gun. Very important. We're going to give that to Barrett in a second. But first, we have some dialogue and we have to do something. Come on. Let's get out of here. Okay. So, 10 minutes to detonation. 
Okay, well, we are actually going to equip Barret first uh, before we move on. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna run, run away. We set up the bomb. We have to we have to escape. I need Robo Karen to narrate my life. No problem, Dragon. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Okay, let's go. We gotta run. Oh no, there's a fight. This countdown, unfortunately, continues to count down while you're fighting. Yay, we love it. Let's bolt these bitches. This was also the very first Final Fantasy to use, um, or not the very first Final Fantasy, but kind of like, um, oh, what am I trying to say? This was, for a lot of people, their favorite, like, active time battle system. Um, it makes you stay on your toes. Like, if you do not attack, things do not pause. It does not wait for you at all. Um, you just have to keep going and, uh, and attacking. If you waste time scrolling around menus, then you are going to literally waste time in battle. Okay. We gotta save Jessie. Her foot is stuck. You all right? My leg got stuck. Thanks. If you do not save Jessie there, they make you go back for her. You have to save her. Which means canonically, Cloud would never have ever left Jessie behind. This music and stuff is so terrifying. Like, I'm gonna get caught! Don't worry, we're not gonna get caught. Ten minutes is plenty of time. We'll be okay. Open the door, open the door! Let's go! Is it Jesse that opens the door? Yeah, it's Jesse. Okay. Go oh, decipher. Come on, let's go. Oh, battle. Bolt is a pretty good spell on all these like mechanical things at the beginning, so you're gonna see me using that um, kind of frequently. All these all these robots don't like extra electricity, as you can imagine. Code deciphered. Oh, we almost made it past this screen. One more battle. I'm not even a robot, but same, right? I mean, can relate. Can relate. Don't overload my search kits, please. Don't worry, Steam, I would never bolt you. Here we go. Thanks so much for waiting at the exit for us. Oh, Jesse needs help again. Oh shit, stop falling down, girl. You're a little clumsy. We did that. We blew up that reactor because we're so fucking cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, what she what she has in clumsiness, she makes up for in like her smarts. She's the one solving all the problems. That should keep the planet going a little longer. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now everyone, get back. Thanks, Jesse, for helping us make our escape. We burn his booty, sorry. Alright, now let's get out here. 
Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Got it. H hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Okay. All right. So, we, uh, we gotta make it back on the train. That was a pretty high-octane start, don't you guys think? Loveless is coming out at 625, wow. You know, everyone's running. Yeah, the reactor just blew up. Of course they'd be scared. Excuse me. What happened? Okay, so we're gonna say nothing. Hey, um... Don't see too many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Let's get one. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Okay, so we bought a flower from this flower girl that we saw in the intro. All right, everybody's running. Oh my God, you guys, why are we running? Like the explosion happened. I guess they think there might be more explosions. Just what the hell is going on? All right, so we got down here, we got a potion. Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet, avalanche. All right, so there's some graffiti on the wall that says that. That's what he's telling us. All right. Hey, you there. Shinra soldiers, no. We're just trying to escape. Halt! Later. I don't need to fight you. I'm just trying to run. Later. Oh no. Oh no. We have to fight. We have to fight. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Just kidding. We don't have to fight them. We're too cool. Oh boy, the flower girl. I sure have no. Okay, this is spoiler free. This is spoiler free, but I mean, I think everyone knows that one. Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? <laughs> Y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Uh, nothing, sorry. Uh... Who's knocking? It's Cloud! Cloud! <laughs> Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Fuck, I guess. It, they always, they censor him, so we'll have to like make up what curse words he's saying. Maybe he's calling Cloud an asshole. Maybe he's saying asshole. Asshole. Hey, Alpha Tiff. Welcome in. You, you're here just for the beginning. Having everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Mm, you were worried about me? Whoa. That's coming at, That's coming out of your share, hot shot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. <laughs> Cloud, what even better next time? Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Thanks, Jesse. Say, thanks for helping me back at the reactor. 
Okay, there is a world, there is something that you can do in the beginning of the game where if you talk to Jesse a lot, you get these like flirtatious lines. I'm not gonna bother with that. It doesn't really affect anything or mean anything. I'm just acknowledging that I know that exists for anybody who's curious. Yes, I know, we're not doing that. Okay. Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar, standard time. Whoa, we're so scary, the punks run away. This is why I hate the last train, oh boy. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. I like the crispy texture. It's a good question. Remake made Jesse enough of a heartthrob. Jesse was always a heartthrob. Je it, people were like best girl Eris, best girl Tifa, and the cool kids were like best girl Jesse. Like that was always a thing. Waffle gang, fuck yeah. I knew you I knew you would be a waffle person, Dragon. Huh? This is my house. So make yourselves at home. Okay, this man lives on the train. That's uh, unfortunate for him. You see the headlines in Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor? They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Yeah! What will we do next? What will we do next? Okay, so yeah. We are Avalanche. This is the beginning of the game. We are terrorists here to bomb the reactors to save the planet. I think we barely got to know our original Avalanche crew. Yeah, we barely did. But I'm just saying, because of those lines, there was always like a cult of Jesse on the internet. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. Security mode? What is that? Someday, Avalanche will be famous, and me too. Oh my gosh, Cloud. Don't you think you got a bright future ahead of me? Or don't you think I got a bright future ahead of me? Uh, what do you have in mind? All my life, I felt like nothing but a sidekick. But after joining an avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like I can do a lot of things. Um, oddly enough, big it's a mode for security to fuck charge. <laughs> I can always count on you. Um, oddly enough, Biggs got the short end of the stick in remake. Oh, that's a shame. Biggs is cool. Okay, I'm trying to talk to Jesse. Oh my god. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm trying to talk to Jesse. Oh my god. There we go. We walked around properly. Okay. Hey Cloud, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map of Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars uh, built into each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Oh, look what's next. Look! This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the in identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to a central data bank at Shinra headquarters. It definitely looks suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I like a girl who knows a way around explosives, right? That's why people like Jesse. Speak of the devil. The light means we're in an ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now, what a relief. She's trying to say people grope on the train when lights go out. Like, I mean, things are dark for these people right off the rip. I know. Next time, I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. 
Okay, then I'll put a little extra effort and make it with a bang. Thanks, Jesse. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If the plate weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world, city on a plate, it's because of that shit pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. Can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. We'll have to decide when we get there, Blue. We'll see. We'll see how we do, Sid. I don't know. I haven't fully decided most of the characters. Just kind of going as we as they pop up. All right, we made it on that train ride. Yo, get over here, all ya! This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out! Okay, here we go. Cause that was the only voice we had until Rebirth. It could take the, oh, Kingdom Hearts 2 approach. I don't even remember how he sounded in Kingdom Hearts 2, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here and they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? Okay, so they clearly have different plans. Uh, we're just gonna head this way. We can't go down here, there's soldiers. But we can go up here, okay? Let's talk to this guy. Hey now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh, you come to see it too. There was a bombing up top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out, it's huge, ain't it? Yeah. Pretty big. This is one of the pillars. Super southern straw and all. I have to go back and watch. Hello, lady. We got a lady here just off camera. Oh, she's walking across the street. I can't read it. Oh, I guess I could look in OBS what they're saying. There you go. Here's lady. Hello, baby. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro. Kitty. Yo, Cloud, over here now. Okay, but I gotta save first, Barrett. Just hang on. I'm thinking about the PS6 um, for whatever reason. Have, uh, have they even announced it yet? Here she is again, Alpha Tiff. Kitty! Hello, lady. You're the one that rubs your face all over my microphone, part of why I have cat hair all over my face today. Are you proud of that? Probably are. Alright, everybody, get the fuck out the bar. It's meeting time. No drinks. Explosions, explosions, oh man, avalanche is so cool. Did you hear? No, what? 
There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to get knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Wow, okay. So, we are terrorists. Um, maybe what we're doing, good for the planet. Maybe not 100% good. Maybe there's some problems with it. Just the potential tech and potential cost. Oh, I see, I see. I'm not opening up. Go away. Okay, he don't want to talk to me. That's fine. What about you, Barrett? Okay, go on ahead. Okay, but what about these guys? Oh, shit. What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought it was a long blackout. It was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden, I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? Okay, Barrett, I'm coming. Fine. Just, you're so pushy. Papa! Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Okay, we've got our third party member. This is Tifa. She is the best girl waifu for laifu, okay? She is canon with Cloud, sorry. If you think otherwise, you're wrong. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But, flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. Yeah, we're gonna give it to Tifa. We're gonna give it to the waifu for laifu. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. All right. Let's talk to everybody. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm, anyway, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now. I'm roly-poly. <laughs> Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but the good food and drinks make the shop famous. Hey, Wedge. You're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Ah, uh, nothing like the first drink after a job. <laughs> why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you'd better listen to whatever I tell you. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. And she won't talk to me. Okay. Oh, Barrett, you finally come in? Papa, welcome home. Okay, so Marlene is Barrett's daughter. You all right, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. Why oh, didn't I get in? Poor Yuffie. Poor Yuffie, true. Poor Yuffie. Doesn't get invited. Sit down. How about something to drink? Yeah, give me something hard. Just a minute. I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. Guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Okay. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah? Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Better go down below. Okay, let's go down below. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? But I really did just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. 
Probably not. You made a good explosion. Think I'm a little too uptight? No. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. I don't know. I kind of guessed that about you, to be honest. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're all bad just because you were in Soldier. <laughs> yeah, hold him back, hold him back. <laughs> he just throws him into the camera. Barrett, you're so rough with your people, okay? They're your employees. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Koneko, hello! Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. I love how, like, Cloud, like, tiptoes. He, like... <laughs> Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Straighten things up for me. Oh, straighten things up with everyone for me. Oh my gosh, Tifa. Why would you ask me to do that? They're so annoying. They won't pay me. Money. Oh my. It must have been for a lot of it. Sure, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Now, let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? Yeah, Jesse, I heard you. Give me my money. I want my money. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you. Please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet's dying, surely, but slowly, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? Um, okay, so we're gonna do, uh, how can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. This scene is so anime. <laughs> like, she's gonna care about a promise they made when they were children. Like, this is so anime. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. It's just so dumb. Like, who would hold somebody to a promise they made when they were children? Only in anime does this happen. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? 
I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? All right, I promise. I feel like Cloud Sass was cranked up a smidge too high in the remake. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't play the remake, but he's a little bit sassy, but, you know, we'll get to that later. He's also kind, right? Like how he buys the flower from Eris, and I know you don't have to do that, right? He makes his promise to Tifa, his childhood friend. He's still there, even though he doesn't care about Avalanche. He he saves Jesse, which you have to do. You can't leave her stuck there, literally. It's the game doesn't let you. You know, he is kind at heart. In in the beginning here, even. You remember now, don't you? A promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise, here. Yay, my money! Oh, sorry, I, I, think, I think that wasn't all of what Blue was saying. I was trying to read his chat. This is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. We really are hurting for help, right? Ugh. That money is for... That money's for Marlene schooling. I couldn't say money and Marlene at first. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. All right, so we're taking Marlene's school money because we're just cool like that. Marlene don't need no school anyway. Midgar's, you know, Midgar's going to hell. What's school gonna do for her when she's old? Nothing, right? Who cares? Uh, because I'm glad they brought back his nature in, from this game, which is very much respected after the bad reception from Advent Children and Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, we don't talk about Advent Children. <laughs> we don't talk about Advent Children. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. Okay, sweet. Awesome, Tifa. Our target's a Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. One does not simply does, sim does not simply talk about Advent Children, right, Koneko? You know. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I don't really know how to use Materia. I'll give you the Materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. <sighs> okay, I'll explain it. So this, I think, is really cool. I'm not going to read out the tutorial because, like, I know how to use the Materia. We don't need this. I'm just going to press the button. But I think it's so cool that in the tutorial of this game, it's Cloud explaining it. Because you are Cloud. But Cloud knows everything about this world, right? At this point, what you know about him is he was an ex-soldier. He, like, he was in, in the elite class, right, of fighters in this world. So I think it's so cool that um, the tutorial is Cloud explaining it to others as opposed to it being explained to you. It matches the way his character is so well. So I think that's like super neat. Um, Materia giving birth, oh how I miss the in remake. Yeah. Oh, I knew what you meant, Koneko. Yeah. I watched Advent Children, I heard exactly nothing about it. I, I understood exactly nothing about it. Well, you're not supposed to. All you're supposed to understand from Advent Children is that everyone is a twink. 
and uh, and twinks are the best. That's that's all you learn in Advent Children. Final Fantasy is full of eligible twinks. Everyone is a twink and everyone loves twinks. Okay, that's it. That's it. I've explained to you the whole movie. <coughs> yeah, it's a, such a cool. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's such a cool way to do the tutorial. Very wonky heal material in the reactor at the start of the game. Yeah. Hello, Guns for Hire. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi. Did you find me in the seven category? Even Barrett was twinkified. True. Barrett, the least twink, still slightly twink in Advent Children. It's just, it's just true. It's just true. <clears throat> Losing all that mass for Advent, right? Poor Barrett. Fuck, what's this? It wasn't- oh, wait, this is Barrett's voice. Fuck, what's this? It wasn't that tough. Crap! I don't get it. You just handle the Materia Cloud. Okay, so now we have the Materia system in the menu. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, watch the store while we're gone. All right, good luck. That's right, we're gonna leave the child in charge of the bar because we are responsible. <laughs> okay, so let's go equip our materia. So he already has ice and lightning. That's pretty good, okay. And then all the only other thing we have is restore. I'm gonna actually put that on Barrett because you can put materia on whoever you want. And I think Barrett would love to learn how to cure. I, I mean, he's like a dad, you know? He, what we know about Barrett right now is he's dad, he's a dad, and he loves the planet. He's gonna cast Cure, okay? Aerith being like her just three counterpart in the game Solus. Red 13 having a single line of dialogue. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 we're talking about Advent Children. We don't talk about Advent Children, Blue. We don't talk about Advent Children. Okay, so now we can kind of like explore a little bit. So let's go into some of these buildings down here and see what's up. All right, what you got, my dude? Ah, oh, another slow day. This keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any real good medicine in a slum like this. You can sell it to me. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. <laughs> Guns, if you want me to respond, I, I mean, you just got in here. You know, come on. Be reasonable. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, I think this should be obvious. Okay, so you can buy fire, ice, lightning, restore. We already have a restore material. We have lightning and we have ice. We're going to buy fire, okay? And then you've got, like, your potions and stuff. Um, I just don't, I just didn't get it. I don't get it, Guns, why you would ask somebody you just met to be your cat girl roommate. Is that, like, an, an anime trope that's going on? I mean, I just don't, I don't get it, my dude, so... Yeah, it's kind of a weird when I don't know you. Hee hee! He'll forget about it. Oh, you. Get my friend on the second floor to teach ya. Okay, so there's something on the second floor for us. Um, but let's talk to this guy first. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. It might be unhealthy for you if you know what I mean. Okay, he's threatening me. He's threatening me. Okay, but don't worry, we are gonna buy stuff. Um, we don't need the assault gun, um, but we, I would like to get three iron bangles. Okay, so we're gonna get three of those. And, um, so don't worry, man, I spent some money. I spent some money. Uh, so we're gonna equip that to everybody. So, yeah, everybody needs an iron bangle. They all have bronze bangles right now, but we don't really need the bronze bangles. Yeah, no window shopping. That's what he said. He said, fuck you, no window shopping. Um... Okay, but we're gonna sell him back the bronze bangles because we don't need them no more. So he can have those. We can't sell the Gatling gun even though we don't need that. He doesn't sell windows, true. He could, I guess, but you know, you know, he actually he probably could make a lot. This is the slums. They might, you know, there might be a lot of broken windows. Maybe somebody should get into the window business. You dried up old keys, you tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash, okay? So I feel bad for the boy. He is clearly poor, he needs the money. So um, so we're gonna say like, yeah, 
Well, we're gonna say yeah. Here, I'll give you a gill. Damn, man, just forget about it. He is insulted, okay? He is insulted. He wants 10 gill. Have you played this or remake before? I played this when I was a kid. I have not played remake or rebirth. All right, have a good dinner, Koneko. I hope it's delicious. Okay, this place, you definitely have to come in here. Very important. First, we have an all materia. Hey, got one right off. That was a materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Okay, and this is an ether. So this is the game teaching you about like, you know, talking to everybody and going everywhere. This is the beginner's hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Don't mess with me. I used to be in soldier. I'll tell you how much I know and for free too. Okay, so this is basically the tutorial. Uh, this, these menus will teach you anything you want to know about the game. We're not going to do any of it because we don't need um, tutorials. We're smart. Okay, so we don't need those tutorials. I do want to talk to these people though. This is the fabled save point. At a save point, you can use a tent and or select save. You can also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Even if you're wiped out, if you've saved, you can restart from the same point. That way you don't have to worry when you've been wiped out. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but when you leave Midgar and you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. That should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. I'm a treasure chest. Beginners, make sure and keep an eye out for me. Okay, so he's trying to teach you all the things. Make sure you, you understand. All right, we are going to save. Okay, and then I'm going to watch this because I think this is cool, okay? This is how it teaches you about limit breaks. With children fighting. Yes, okay. We love kids fighting here. Hunger Games is a favorite of the stream, as you guys know. We love it. Okay, here we go. Gotta hang in there. Your limit gauge is just starting to build. Whoa! So it's Cloud teaching her. Let, let, let them beat you up, girl. Let them. Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. And now... And then she beats him up back and she wins. Great. See, Cloud is a nice person. He's helping the kids out. This is really meta. It's so meta, right? But it's cool because it's trying to help you understand that limit breaks are not just a fighting mechanic in this game. Like, it's diegetic to this world that limit breaks happen. Like, it is, it is part and parcel of the world that when people are fighting, once you're pushed to your limit, you are going to fight back so much harder. And everyone has a limit where they can't just take it anymore and they will fight back. So when I get mad at people at work because I've had enough of their crap, I can just call it a limit break. That's right, Steam. When you, when you send that email that says, per my last email, that is you using your limit break, okay? That's it, yes. But I did find you in the Final Fantasy VII category. Oh, awesome. Well, we just started. Um, this will be our main game on the channel, and I stream on Saturdays and Sundays. So if you're interested in seeing 100% playthroughs of Final Fantasy, that's what I do here. And Seven, of course, is the current one that we just started. All right. Then up here, here is the beds. This is a slum, so don't think you can stay for free. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay, so you can see I have to pay 10 gil if I want to sleep here. Okay, all right, kid, I'm gonna pay you. You need the money, obviously. This basically just restores all your stuff like sleeping in any Final Fantasy game. Yeah, so when you say per my last email, you're casting your big shot. Okay, there we go. We have finished up. Yes, we did. We got a 100% on Final Fantasy 1. We are done with that one. We got everything. All right, so then we're going to do all. So we're going to have all in restore for Barrett. And then I want to give Tifa the fire materia. So yeah. Whee. Okay, let me pass. Okay, there we go. Sometimes navigating the 3D of this is like not so easy all right let's meet up with everybody 
What's up, guys? Yesterday, everyone in town was peeking at the two of you from outside the bar. Tifa's childhood friend. That's a good one. I am. Uh, now I can't... And now I ain't got no one to pick on. Opie doesn't get hurt. That worries me the most. Okay, they're talking about they're all talking about this guy. Let's see. What's up with you? Johnny, okay? I'm leaving. Going far away. But when I come back, I'll be a better man. This is goodbye. Hey, childhood friend, you better take care of Tifa. My I, my name is childhood friend, I guess. Yeah. Um do you remember we're supposed to control this game with the D-pad? I know, but I'm a rebel, so I'm not doing it, which is going to cause me to make mistakes, but I don't care. I'm not using the D I'll probably have to use the D-pad sometimes, but I really don't want to. But yes, I know, Blue, I know. It's very annoying. Okay, we can save again here if we want to before we continue. Had it. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on anything. Yeah. Well then, shall we? Yes. Okay, and then they just both flop over. I don't don't ask me what this mean I don't this is very dark if it means what I think it means. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't know what this dialogue is supposed to tell me. It just is very funny. Morning. Dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back again here. Karen fighting the establishment one video game at a time. That's right. This is exactly how we fight the establishment. We will we will take down we will take down um the, the world order, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. We're gonna fight capitalism by playing video games. This will work. It's a good plan. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Yo! Ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? It's the, sa it's the same office worker as before. <gasps> you say something? I said, you say something? Now look at that. Got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's, it's empty because of guys like you. seen the news, right? Avalanche... Oh, this is still the guy. You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there will be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. Barrett! Fuck you, lucky son of a bitch. Barrett, you can't take out your anger on random workers, okay? They are victims just like you, okay? They're just trying to survive. <laughs> Yeah, well, in this game, we are. We are eco-terrorists. So, what are we gonna do now? Fuck, how you so calm? You busting up my rhythm! Okay, time to move. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So, what's our next target? Ha! Huh. Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. All right, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. There's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've only... Three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Hmm, you're the only ones that'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. That's right, my dude. You're, you're a human, okay? You're a human, you're a full person. It doesn't matter that you're homeless. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to Tifa. I want to talk to the dude. Hmm, it looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come a little closer. 
I don't remember that couple falling to the ground, so I had to Google what it meant. Apparently they missed their last train and they supposedly fall asleep. Oh, really? I never knew. I just thought it was some kind of weird thing. Okay, here we go, guys. It's a problem now. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A, security, alert. Unidentified passenger confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A, security, alert. Unidentified passenger confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Okay, fuck, we have to run. Fuck, someone blew it. An identified passenger located in car one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Okay, okay, okay. We'll run, run, run. Biggs, her. Oh my god, I don't have time to read all of this. We've got a countdown. Just run, just run. Okay, Jesse, I'm trying. Hey, you guys are too rowdy. Okay, run, run, run. Somebody's, somebody gives me something here. I can't remember, though. Yeah, gimme. Okay. Oh no, I ran out of time, motherfucker. Oops, okay. Well, we lost. That's okay, though. You can't really lose this sequence. That didn't do anything. We'll jump from here. Follow me, you speck with, uh, expensive leech? Oh, he's calling me expensive. Yeah, so anyways, if you do this right, you can get some items. You can get a phoenix down, a high potion. Um, and there's a guy that steals your guild and you can steal it back. Anyway, we're slow, so we didn't do none of that. Sorry. Um, be strong. So basically, you just jump out the car when the timer runs out if you don't make it to the end. Do you allow calling out stuff you might miss? Um, yes, backseating is okay. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so there's a lot I don't know. But, um, but no story spoilers, please. I mean, I know the story, but I just don't want to spoil it for anybody watching. Oh man, we're forced to get this far out. We can't just go back now, we gotta go on. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse did good. Now, it's our turn. Okay. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Okay, so now we gotta walk down this tunnel. You, you walk down this tunnel no matter what. I, I just, I think it's like shorter or longer depending on how well you do on the time thing. I think that's the only difference. But yeah, the last time I played this game is when I was a kid. So I don't, I don't know it so well. You can also go the other way and end up in an endless battle. Oh, like it just keeps looping and looping and looping if you go the wrong way. That's, that is crazy. I don't think I've ever tried to do that. Um, but I guess you could use that to like grind up really, really high. So there's bugs. There's bugs down in the train area. Little insects. And we gotta kill them. Cause they're gonna try to kill us. Not because we actually want to kill the bugs. It's like a gate where guards keep coming out constantly after each fight. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried to go that way. I don't think I've seen anyone try to go that way in playthroughs either. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is where we're trying to get to. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any farther. Okay, so we gotta go down here, where the red arrow is. That's one damn tiny hole. You're telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Okay, we have to go down. That's literally the only choice. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Don't worry, Barrett. I'm with you. I'll help you. All right, so here we go. Here is a ether, and then we keep going down. Oh, excuse me. These, these screens are a little bit hard to see. That's why I turn on the arrows. And, and I, I highly recommend playing this game with, like, the arrows and stuff turned on. It's, um, some screens are just really challenging without it. All right, time to fight fish for some reason. Oh, I'll show you the back attack thing. So, yeah, if you run away and then let it go, 
and don't continue the runaway, then um, you're, uh, you'll just flip back around so we can cheat a little bit. If you can see Tifa fight, she punches. She kick punch. Chores, ew. Ew, chores, gross, I'm sorry, Blue. Yeah, I know, Barrett's in the front now, but it's okay. You can switch them back, like there's an option, I think it's like press left or right or something. Let's see, yeah, change, so you can do that, and you, they'll flop. I always played with the arrows on, so I feel that, right? Oh no, he put me to sleep. I guess maybe I should supposed to use magic on these guys. Because they're not dying. They're not dying. There we go. Okay, what about fire? Hell bubbles. Link all with magic instead of restore? Why? I ever can restore everybody. Now, I don't, I don't think there's very many fights like this in the Midgar section, right? Where you need to use magic on like multiple enemies like that. What's up, dude? Cloud, this way. The reactor's up this ladder. Okay. Is there any treasure? I'm just looking at my notes. Um, I think if I go... Like, if I go the wrong way, I'll get more treasure. I think I'm gonna... I think it's the first one. Fire's not really doing anything. Hit, hit Cloud so he wakes up. Well, actually, I guess we could hit Cloud. We don't have anything that helps with. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Oh my gosh, there we go. Cloud, wake up! Thank you! Just, he just needed some bullets to the face. He just needed some bullets to the face, and now he's awake. That would wake me up, you know, so. Next time when you wake someone up, take out a gun and shoot him. Yeah. Try it in real life. You will have great success. They'll definitely wake up. I believe it. Okay, I think it's this way is the wrong way. Oh, and I think I forgot to say at the beginning. Yes, just like always, I make notes for myself um, and uh, so that we don't get too lost um, in the game. Yeah, okay, this is the way I wanted to go. Okay, so you can get a potion from there. What's up, Jesse? I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. Aw, poor Jesse. It's not your fault, Jesse, okay? Like, shit happens. Shit happens. All right, there's a tent, and then we can save.
what's up, dude? We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, you're, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Okay. I got it, you guys. I'm gonna make a big boom. Alright, so the layout for this is pretty similar to the other reactor that we were in once we get to this point. Um, so we need to go down here and set up us the bomb first, I think. I think it's like it's down here and then it's the upper part. If I remember correctly. We've got this foreboding music. And you definitely know that the Mako reactors are evil because this is a Japanese game and it looks like um, nuclear power, which of course, like, the reality of nuclear power's effect on climate change is like, um, it is debated, it's not so cut and dry as, as like fossil fuels, you know, but, um, but you know, it's Japan. And so we all understand why uh, things that visually look like nuclear power in Japanese media is pretty universally considered evil. So, the Mako reactors looking like, um, looking like nuclear reactors, uh, we can understand this. Save point in the same spot. Um, I'm gonna use my tent to heal everybody up. Oatmeal! Hey, Oatmeal! Oh my gosh, hi! Some fans made a pretty hilarious fully voiced version of this last year, so yes, I saw it. And I almost considered playing that one, um, but decided against it that I wanted to do the OG, like the real OG, not modded, all my own voices and stuff. Oh shit. It's happening again, you guys. Oh. What is this? Papa. Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Malko reactor, Shinra. <sighs> I hate them all. Shit, that was a flashback. Okay. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. You all right? Tifa. Hmm? No, uh, forget. Come on, let's hurry. All right. Let's set up us the bomb. We did it. Now we can go back. So both times that Cloud has gotten next to a Mako reactor, he has had um, some inter interesting little like little like pass out flashback something something. Okay, so that's very interesting. Uh, Cloud is not what he seems. He puts on quite a tough face, but we have seen multiple times evidence that he's actually a much kinder and gentler person than that, and um, and we have seen that. Uh, but he has, he has some, uh, some mental illnesses, to say the least. You know, something's going on with him. So we're gonna have to find out what. Oh, oh, Tifa's limit break. Yeah! Kick punch, go girl. Hell yeah, she beat up that kitty cat. Showed it what's what. Yeah, the fan the fan made like um voice acted one. They they do the voices for like everything. Like random NPCs have voices and things like that too. Like it's it's kind of crazy. Um it's really impressive. That's why I considered streaming that version, but then I just thought like there's less interaction for that I can have with you guys because they voiced basically everything. Um but if you're playing it on your own, 
and um, and kind of like reading everything is kind of difficult as a modern gamer, uh, that's an option. You can download the mod for it. We'd also be missing out on your Barrett voice, which would be a shame. Thank you, Oatmeal. <laughs> Thank you. Barrett was the only voice I was uh, confident in, like, okay, I know exactly the, what kind of, like, level of, of craziness I have to do for this voice, like, before I even started this game. I think if you're, you're used to, if you're not used to, like, reading in your video games, you're used to cutscenes, yeah, it can feel like you're not playing a game. It, it's not, it doesn't feel the same as playing a game for a lot of people. So if that's you, you know, and playing an older game that has no voice acting in it, uh, then playing the, the fan-made one is a good option to still experience this game. Alright, so after you set up, up up the bomb, you have to come up here um, and do a thing. So we get an ether right there. Oh. And we gotta basically activate it so that it, it does it, it, it does the big explosion. I think if like if you're like a younger, you know, and you've never really played older games before, um, I do think it would be a jarring experience to realize that like vast majority of this game is reading. Uh, I know for those of us that are older, like all RPGs used to be like that, so it seems kind of like um, it seems kind of ch uh, like why would that be challenging? Like why is that weird? It's like the games aren't built like that anymore, you know. You don't read everything. There's some reading, but you don't read everything. All my movies are subtitled. Yeah, I think that's I think that's because they they mix. So I have a theory about that too. Um, oh, let's do this, and I'll tell you why why everyone watches their stuff with subtitles nowadays. Jesse said we have to push the buttons at once. Okay, okay, I, I, okay. No good. Let's try again. Okay, I got it this time. Nope, I don't got it this time. I don't got it. No good. Let's try again. Ah, almost. Okay, hang on. We got it. We got it this time. Yeah! Okay, we did it. All three at the same time. Welcome back, Koneko. What did you have for dinner? Was it delicious? Third time's the charm or something, that's right. That's right, we did it. All right, so here we go. This looks familiar, right? It's just facing the other direction, but this is the exit. This way. Oh shit. Not this way. Shinra soldiers? Fuck, what the hell's going on? A trap. We had tortillas? Mmm! Pres president Shinra? Why is the president here? Mmm. So you all must be... What is it? Avalanche, and don't you forget it! So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, you! You're the one who quit Soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd be exposed to, <laughs> it's to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, oh, Sephiroth, he was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves y'all right. Uh, 
fun, such a waste of good fireworks just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinro, the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you king vermin, so shut up, jackass. You're all beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even get started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? <laughs> oh fuck, it's a big guy. Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier? Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President? Bye. He fly away. Bye. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Help, Cloud! This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust it up. People die when they're killed. <laughs> the data is excellent indeed true. Okay, here we go. Let's fuck him up. Let's fuck him up real good. Bolt his ass, okay? Let's go. We got this shit. Oh no, rear gun. He's got butt guns, you guys. He's got butt guns that's gonna kill us. I don't wanna die by butt guns, hello? I'm here to- I'm here to live. I'm not done with this life yet. This boss is annoying as fuck, by the way. Just by the way. Because he splits up your party, it's so annoying! Look at that! Nonsense! Absolute nonsense! Are you are you in destruction mode? Are you in destruction mode right now? You don't like the the big guy either. I don't like him. I don't like him. He sucks. God damn. All right. Um. If I cure, yeah, I can't. Oh, I can cure. Okay. Well, I need to cure Cloud. Does allow you to attack on his backside for some cool numbers. I guess that's true, yeah, because I can back attack him. Whoa! Ouchie! Boom! Turn functions non operational. Counter attack. Okay, don't kill him. Don't kill him, I'm curing him. Next turn. Come on, Barrett, come through. Oh, he's gonna kill Tifa. Oh no, he's dead. We didn't even get to heal. Okay. Sweet! Oh shit. It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey! Gonna be all right? Uh, shit. Uh, I don't know if I can hold on. Fuck, I, I can't hold on much longer. Barrett, hurry. Don't go crying like a woman. There ain't nothing I can do for you. You gotta do it on your own. Barrett. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh! Bye. No, Tifa, don't look. Don't look. Don't look, it's too tragic. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved! How about that? 
Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? Whoa, it's the flower girl again. You okay? This is the church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. Love it here. Aerith caught him laying in her bed, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. <sighs> good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, no, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Okay, so she has a useless materia. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. Today is Remembrance Day in my country. My brother is in the military and he's on ceremonial duty today. Which means he'll get to be on TV. Oh, that's so cool. You'll get to see him on TV, Koneko. I love that. Okay, we can't step on her flowers. Just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is Eris. We're going to keep it Eris because Aerith is too hard to say. Sorry. Not sorry. It's too hard to say, you guys. It's too... So, she's gonna be heiress for my playthrough. If this is a problem for you, leave a comment down below. Okay? There we go. I'm heiress, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack-of-all-trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Oh, who the fuck is that? Cloud, don't let it get to you. Shrug. Cloud always shrugging. This is like the game of shrugs. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? <gasps> Apparently this is acceptable payment to Cloud. He's cool with this. I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Shit, more is happening. Oh yeah. I know you. That uniform. Hey, sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. The exit's back here. 
All right, so we're trying to lead them off the flowers. It's not watching the ceremony. It's a lot of talking and a lot of World War II history that I don't really care about, but my parents are watching. Oh, oh, well, it's still cool that he gets to be on TV, you know? It's still really cool. That's, like, cool for him. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right. Come on. Get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. <laughs> you just stepped on the flowers. What the heck? All right, let's go. We running. Let's get away. There they are, over there. Cloud, that one. I know. Looks like they aren't gonna let us go. You know the order, Karen? Yes, I know the order. I know the order. Hopefully, I know, I, I'm telling the truth. But yes, I think I know the order. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Reno's such a dick, true. Eris, this way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient's getting away. Attack, attack, attack. Oh shit. Ah! Eris. I think we killed him. They should never have fought us. Oh shit. Cloud, help. Okay, here we go. We gotta, we gotta go. Damn. What's that? Eris, okay, hold on a minute. We gotta go to the barrels. Okay, it's, um, shoot. Uh, this one. Shh. Battle time. I think it's the back left barrel first, or the back right barrel first. Or it's back. I know it's the two back ones. I think it's back, is it back left then back right, or back right then back left? after I get out this battle. Reno's a great character. I love him in the 7R games. I, I, I want to play... When the third one comes out, I'm going to have to play them, you know? Okay. Let's go... Oh, shoot. Nope. Okay, I think it's... Ah, get down there. Nope, nope, nope. This one. Here's a barrel. Yes. There we go. Okay, yeah. Back left, then back right. Thanks, Cloud! Okay, and then we run over here, and we wait. Ah! Cloud, help! Front first? No, it's definitely not the front first. Um, it's the back. It's the two back ones first. Hold on a minute. Right? I hope I'm right. Yeah, it's the two back ones first. There we go. Thanks, Cloud! Okay, and then this one. Then we go to the front. Because we go in a circle. Yeah, so it wasn't the front first. If you guys are going to give me back seating, like, please be correct, you know? Otherwise, y'all trolling me. Because I know people know everything about this game, for sure. This game been out forever. I was testing you. You are not testing me. You didn't know. Don't lie to me. I'm not that dumb. Okay. Then we're going to push this one over. I think it's this one. Yeah, because it's going to roll down the stairs. Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the barrel. Thanks, Cloud. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we don't even... Okay, we didn't even need to push that one. Eris, this way. Yeah, this is one of those screens that's so hard to see when you don't have the arrow. But yeah, you're supposed to run this way. All right, now we made it on top of the church. For some reason, we are like super way big compared to this church. I do not know why. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. 
They're the Turks. Mm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must have been a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. All right, now we hop hop across roofs that are way too small for what they should be for some reason. Wait, I wait, I said. Slow down and don't leave me behind. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Cloud, were you ever in soldier? I used to be. How'd you guess? Rise. They have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako. The mark of a soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. All right, let's go, bodyguard. made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. Okay. Uh, let's actually equip her with some shit. Um, we can give her a titan bangle. And um, we can give her some materia. She can have restore and she can have fire. Oh, a save point. Okay, actually. Um, let's save. And, yeah, 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 save, save, save. Okay, who jumps like that swinging your arms? Cloud, obviously, and he's the best jumper, duh. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are actually going to end our first episode there. Oh, let me click back on the game so you can get music. So we're gonna end our first episode there. Um, if you are watching the recorded version of this on the YouTubes, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, let me know what you thought of the first episode. We're going to try to 100% this game, so come back uh, tomorrow for more. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.